Let's use this microfish picture quick as a resource here to talk about the problem areas that I've seen more often than I think you should, but it's with items number seven and eight. All right, here's a built-up push rod assembly off an Evo, but it's it's very similar to the twin cam. I made some notes here in the photo. You could just see that the very first item in the left top corner, that steel washer, is not used any longer on the twin cam. The other differences are the inner push rod tube there on the bottom is shorter on the twin cam than the Evo, along with its clip that secures it. But as far as the problems, that's why we watch these videos and that's why we train. It's number seven and eight. What happens is I'll see those get flipped and then the customer complaint is is that there's a um, an oil leak coming out the push rod tube or whatnot and it's a significant amount of work as you'll see to fix this if you accidentally flip those around. I can't stress enough that's why it's so important to use your microfishes and be diligent with your work there. So um, let's talk about the function there. The steel spring actually um, creates that uh, that support when the clip is on that cup to hold the assembly together so it doesn't vibrate apart and doesn't require any type of mechanical fastener like a bolt. But the steel washer's job is to stop the steel spring from pushing through the o-ring. You can see the outer tube actually has a flared edge on it. With that flared edge that o-ring will just cradle in there, create a nice seal. The steel washer will go on top of that the steel spring goes on top of the washer and we have a, an assembly that will give you lots of trouble free miles but only when assembled right. Here you see just a clip from the microfish identifying the part numbers for those push rods. What I want to point out here that we talked about in disassembly is the colors obviously, uh, the black for the exhaust and plain for the uh, intake, but they're different lengths. We've talked about that before too. The evolutions have four different push rods. Regardless, whatever you're working on, you can't just say Harley's Harley. You can see here that there's model specific information you need to know. We're going to install our push rod tubes. We definitely want some oil on these O-rings. So what I like to do is go ahead and just close it up here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to seat it, and it, what I, you guys probably couldn't hear that, but it popped, okay? Then I take my other one here, because I want to get it snap into place as well. Take just a straight blade screwdriver like this, and it pops into place. Are you with me? We really want to put uh, O-rings in wet or uh, lubricate them, if you will. And I think that's an overlooked item a lot for entry-level technicians is they, they dry fit so many things. And you can see this is a perfect example. When those O-rings are lubricated, man, that thing will just rotate nice and easy. And you also think about lubrication as a fact of not tearing or damaging that part as you install it. Before I even put my clip in, one of the things I like to do is just rotate it. It's just as free as can be. Make sense? Yep. Okay, so then I could take my install tool, get this in the right way. Okay. And let's get the camera in here. I'll, I'll kind of tip it back. And what we're what we're doing is we're making this clip really serves two functions. Number one, it is what holds the inner tube up into the cylinder head. And it also acts as a decorative piece covering up that inner tube and beautifying it with the chrome. Stop and look at this for a second here and notice how that clip is really nice and centered along with that push rod tube. You want to do that for cosmetic value to keep uh, it looking good. As you practice your craft here, just think about those little details and, and the pride that you put into your work. This keeps the customer happy. It looks cosmetically pleasing, makes Harley happy and proud or whatever engine you're working on. And I just ask you to keep them looking good, guys and gals. I get a little oil on my push rod here. Just keep things nice and lubed up for assembly. I'm gonna drop this baby down and now you know what's underneath there. It's just sitting right on the lifter, right? Yep. Do the same process, just repeating itself here. 